In this video, I'm going to show you how to sign up and create a new account with Nextdoor. So let's get started right away. First of all, just open up your web browser and then in the address bar, type in nextdoor.com and press enter. You will then be taken into the official Nextdoor website. Now in order to sign up and create a new account, you can directly continue with your Google, your Apple or your Facebook account, or you can sign up to a new account using your email address. Simply type in your desired email address followed by your account password. Now click on the continue button and you will be asked to enter your first and your last name. So just go ahead and type those in and click on continue once again. Now you will be asked to enter your address. Simply type in your street address and your apartment or suite number. Now click on the continue button once again and now you will be taken into the verification page. For this, you will simply need to enter your phone number and click on text me a code. After you receive the code in a text, you will simply need to enter the text provided in the verification box. Once you do this, your account will be activated. You can also click on verify another way and you will be asked to enter the verification code if you have received it in your email. If you find a code in your email, you can simply type in this code or click on the skip button. If you click on skip, you can choose to verify later and skip the verification process for now. And now you will be asked to enter your profile picture. You can simply click on the edit button to choose your photo and click on the continue button. Or you can skip this as well by clicking on the skip button. After setting up all of your account information, your account will be activated. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to sign up and create a new account with Nextdoor. How to log in to your business on Nextdoor. So let's get started right away. First of all, just open up your web browser and then in the address bar, type in nextdoor.com and press enter. You will then be taken into the official Nextdoor website where you can log in to your account by clicking on the sign in button at the top right corner. Now, once you are logged in, you can simply click on your account section at the top right corner and then click on add business page. You will then be taken to the Nextdoor business login page. Now you can use your default login to link it with your business account or you can use a different account for your business Nextdoor account. Just go ahead and select any one of those options and you will be asked to enter your business name. Just go ahead and type in the name of your business and then click on the next button. Then you will be asked to enter your business address. Just go ahead and type in the address and then click on the next button as well. You will then be asked to set up your category. Just go ahead and select whichever category applies to your business and then you can click on the claim page button to start customizing your business page on Nextdoor. From there you can upload pictures and then enter additional information about your business. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to log into your business account on Nextdoor. How to log into your existing account on Nextdoor. So let's get started right away. First of all, just open up your web browser and then in the address bar, type in nextdoor.com and press enter. This will now take you into the official website for Nextdoor, where you will be asked to log into your account either using your Google, your Facebook or your Apple account. And you can also use your email address and your password to log in. So simply enter your email address followed by your password. You can then click on the continue button and now you will be asked to enter the code that has been sent to your email address. So just check your inbox and you will find an email from next door. Within this email, you will find your login code. So you can simply copy this code and paste it in the given box and then click on the login button or you can directly click on the sign me in button. Once you do either of these, you will be logged in to your account. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to log into your account with Nextdoor. How to change your password on Nextdoor. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up your web browser and then in the address bar, type in nextdoor.com and press enter. You will then be taken to the official website for Nextdoor where you can sign in to your account using your login credentials. Once you log in, you will end up on your homepage, which will kind of look like this. Now from the home page, in order to change your password, simply click on your account icon at the top right corner 
and then click on the settings icon which is the gear icon. This will now take you into your account settings page. Now from your account settings page, simply scroll down and you will find the change password option. Just go ahead and click on it and now you will be asked to verify your account. You can choose to verify by phone or through an email. This verification process will involve entering a code that will be sent to your phone. After verifying your identity, you will be allowed to set up your new password. So after this, all you need to do is type in your desired new password and then click on the continue button. And then your password will be changed. So after this, every time you log into your Nextdoor account, you will need to use your new password. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to change your password on Nextdoor. How to create your own post on Nextdoor. So let's get started right away. First of all, just open up your web browser and then in the address bar, simply type in nextdoor.com and press enter. This will now take you into the official Nextdoor website where you can log in to your account using your email address and your password. Once you log in, you will end up on your homepage where you can find various posts from people close to your location. Now in order to create your post, you can simply click on the what's on your mind section and you will be allowed to create your post. After typing in your post, you can simply tap on the enter button or click on the adjoining arrow key and your post will be displayed just like this on the news feed of people that are close to you. And people can interact with your post by liking, commenting and sharing as well. And that is how easy it is to create your very first post. You can also click on the post option at the left side which is the green button and from there you can create your post as well. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to create a post on Nextdoor. How to reset your forgotten password on Nextdoor. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up your web browser and then in the address bar, type in nextdoor.com and press enter. You will now be taken into the official Nextdoor website where you can log into your account using your Google, your Facebook or your Apple account. You can click on these options if you used your Google, Apple or Facebook account to create your Nextdoor account in the first place. If not, then you will need to log in using your email address. Try entering your email address and your password and click on the continue button. If you don't remember your password and if you have entered your wrong password, then you will now find an option to reset your password. So simply click on the reset button and you will be asked to enter your email address. Simply type in your email address and click on I'm not a robot to verify your identity. Then you can click on send reset email and you will now be told to check your inbox to find the password reset link. So go ahead and check your inbox and you will find an email from Nextdoor which contains a link that will allow you to reset your password. So click on the link within the email and now you will be allowed to type in your new password. So simply type in your desired new password and then type it in once again to confirm it. You can then click on set password and now your password has successfully been reset and you will be logged into your account. And now every time you want to log into your account, you can use your newly set password. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to reset your forgotten password on Nextdoor. How to enable dark mode on Nextdoor. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up your web browser or the Nextdoor application. Now, if you use your web browser, simply type in nextdoor.com in the address bar and press enter. You will now be taken into the official Nextdoor website. And if you're logged into your account already, you will be taken to the dashboard. Once you end up on your dashboard, look for your account icon at the top right corner and click on it. Once you do this, you will see a drop down menu. Now from the drop down menu, click on view profile and this will take you into your profile settings page. Now underneath your name, you will find a gear icon. Just go ahead and click on it and now you will see several options. From these options, hover over to appearance and click on it and now you can select from dark mode or light mode. Simply click on the dark mode option and you will immediately see the application and website interface change into dark mode. 
you can come back to this setting anytime and select your desired mode by simply clicking on it. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to set up dark mode on Nextdoor. How to delete notifications on Nextdoor. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up your web browser and then in the address bar, type in nextdoor.com and press enter. This will then take you into the official Nextdoor website where you can log in to your account if you haven't done so already by clicking on the sign in button at the top section. Now, once you log in, you will be taken into your homepage where you will see the notification option at the left side. Just click on notifications and then you will be shown all of your notifications that you have received within this page. Now you can simply click on the three dots at the right side of each notification and you will find the option to delete this notification or mute it. Simply click on delete notification and this will delete your notification. You can click on the undo button immediately if you delete any notification by mistake. But you will have to act fast and you can simply continue this process to remove any notification that you wish from your notification options. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to delete your notifications on Nextdoor. How to contact Nextdoor. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up your web browser and then in the address bar, type in nextdoor.com and press enter. Now, once you do this, you will be taken into the Nextdoor website where you can log into your account by clicking on the login button at the top right corner. Once you log into your account, you will be taken to this homepage. Now, from the homepage, in order to contact the Nextdoor team, simply click on your account icon at the top right corner and then click on the help button. This will then take you into the Nextdoor help center. Now, from the help center, just use the search box and then type in contact. Then just start the search and then scroll all the way down and you will find the contact us button. Just click on it and now you will be taken into another page where you can directly contact Nextdoor. You can simply use the drop down menu to select what you have a question about. Just select your desired topic and then use the other drop down to specify your topic even more. After doing this, you will be shown a quick answer that might help you solve your issue. You can just scroll down and click on I still need help and then you can contact the team directly from email or using a phone number. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to contact Nextdoor. How to change your address on Nextdoor. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up your web browser and then in the address bar, type in nextdoor.com and press enter. You will then be taken into the official Nextdoor website where you can log in to your account by clicking on the login button if you haven't done so already. Now once you are logged in to your account, you will be taken to the home page. Now from your home page, just click on the account icon at the top right corner and then click on the settings option. Now from the settings option, just scroll down and you will find underneath your profile an option to move to a new address. Just go ahead and click on this option and then you will be asked to enter your new address. You can simply type in the street address and the apartment or the suite or the unit number and then click on the continue button and your address will be changed. You might be asked to verify your identity by entering your password so once you verify your identity, your address will be changed on Nextdoor. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to change your address on Nextdoor. How to cancel your Nextdoor account. So let's get started right away. First of all, just open up your web browser and then in the address bar, type in nextdoor.com and press enter. Now from this page, just click on the sign in button if you haven't logged into your account already and then proceed with logging into your account. Once you are logged in, you will end up on this homepage. Now in order to cancel your account, just click on your account icon at the top right corner and then click on settings. Now from the settings menu, scroll all the way down and you will find an option to deactivate your account. You can simply go ahead and click on it and now you will be asked to provide a reason for deactivating your account. You can simply select any one of the reasons and then click on the deactivate button but you can also provide a feedback before you do so. Now after selecting your reason and providing your feedback if you want, just click on the deactivate button and this will continue with cancelling your account. If you don't wish to share your feedback, just make sure to uncheck the box which says share this feedback with your neighborhood leads. 
Once you click on the deactivate button, you might be asked to enter your password to verify your identity. After entering your password, your account will be deactivated, but it is not permanently deleted. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to cancel your Nextdoor account. How to change your location on Nextdoor. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up your web browser and then in the address bar, type in nextdoor.com and press enter. This will then take you into the official Nextdoor website where you can log into your account by clicking on the sign in button at the top right corner. Now, once you log in, you will end up on the home page. From the home page, to change your address, simply click on your account icon at the top right corner and then click on settings. Now you will end up on the settings page where you can easily change your location by scrolling down and then clicking on move to a new address. Once you click on it, you will be asked to enter your new location. You can simply type in the street address and your apartment or your suite or your unit number. You can then click on the continue button and you might be asked to verify your identity. Just go ahead and complete the verification process and your location will be changed on Nextdoor. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to change your location on Nextdoor. How to delete your Nextdoor account. So let's get started right away. First of all, open up your web browser and then in the address bar, type in nextdoor.com and press enter. You will then be taken into the official Nextdoor website. Just click on the sign in button if you haven't done so already and then log in to your account. Once you log in, you will end up on the home page where you can click on your account icon at the top right corner to go into the settings page by clicking on the gear icon. Now from the settings page, just scroll all the way down and you will find an option to deactivate your account. You can simply go ahead and click on it and now you will be asked for a reason for deactivating your account. Just go ahead and select any reason and then you will find the deactivate button. You can simply click on it and then you will be asked to verify your identity by entering your password. Just type in your password and complete the verification and then your account will be deactivated. Now in order to delete it, you simply need to refrain from logging in for the next 30 days. If you don't log in until that time, then your account will be deleted as well. And there you have it. That is how easy it is to delete your account on Nextdoor. If you find this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. Also ring that notification bell to never miss another update from us. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in the next video.